was a weird time. It was, like, it was a good time. But they also just, they didn't want, they didn't want, you mean, I mean, thank God for gay men. Gay men saved my career during this time. They were Stop worrying about your cat 
and I canceled a huge tour because I just couldn't psychologically handle it and I and I moved out of LA and I wrote this song about trying to come to terms. So this is that song and it's called Goodbye Alice. And I love it. Stranger than fiction. 
It's interesting as we grow. We're all probably my age-ish, right? It's interesting. The more I learned about my father's childhood, the more I was amazed at what a good job he actually did. My dad's childhood was so traumatic that when he went to Vietnam at 18, it was the first time he relaxed. That's not good. That's stressful, wow. My uh, grandparents actually came from Switzerland. They were living in Germany during, uh, just well, in the 30s. And uh, my grandfather had this theory that if a civilization reached a purpose, like a certain population index, that the civilization would fail. And he was convinced Europe was going to fail. And so he believed in this so much that he talked philosophers and painters and musicians to all leave Europe and go to Alaska because Alaska was giving free if you would just go up there and promise not to die for a whole winter. <laughs> and after the winter, they would give you land. And so they all decided they could do it, and they decided to take several years to learn skills like cabin making, medicine, herbology, hunting, canning, all this. Cool. So it was a pretty organized little group, and my grandfather was sent ahead as a scout, and so he stowed away on ships and hiked over glaciers and found this land in Alaska and then hiked back over the glaciers and stowed away on ships again and got back to Europe where Hitler started to be a problem. And by the time he got home, finally, Hitler was a problem. And nobody could get a visa to leave except my grandmother, who was an aspiring opera singer and poetess. And she decided to leave her friends. Nobody could get a visa. And she decided to go to Alaska with this this gentleman who wanted to, yeah, homestead. Yeah. She stepped off of the boat to see flowers in his hair. The man she would marry was as hard as the mountains. She had eight children and they look at Family's constellation in the land of the midnight star Searching for gold I am my father's dog He has his mother's eyes I am the product of her sacrifice I am the accumulation of the dreams of generations and the stories living me like Oh, holy order I am my father's daughter My daddy raised me In a log cabin And he sang for me The songs his mother sang for him It was just me and him and that old guitar. And he passed on a legacy wrapped up in a melody that I carry on searching for gold. I am my father's dog. I have his life. I am a prophet. Of his sacrifice, I am the accumulation of the dreams of generations, and their stories live in me like a oh, holy order. I am my father's daughter. Every time I step on stage, and the music finds me.
really lucky. My first album was made uh, at Neil Young's Ranch with his band called The Street Gators. It wasn't because Neil knew me or anything. It was because his steel guitar player was a guy named Ben Key. And he was the only guy when I got discovered that told me my six minute songs weren't too long. <laughs> and he didn't want to change painters. He just wanted to let my songs be what they were. And so, as a favor to him, Neil let me record at his ranch. And I didn't really know how to play it. I'd only been writing songs for a couple years, and I honestly couldn't tune my guitar that well. <laughs> and the band was incredible. Kenny Buttry was the drummer. He had played uh, on the Dylan record, Lay Lady Lay. Um, played with Elvis, Tim Drummond on bass. Uh, Spooner Old Ham on keys. He was the one that came up with the riff with Aretha Franklin for a lot of her music. It was just, yeah. it was a crazy band and I was wildly intimidated and, and trying to be honest about the level of experience I had, which was nothing. And uh, Kenny, the drummer, took a, a jab at me. He got annoyed with me. and So I wrote this song. <laughs> Because we all have to make decisions whether we're going to harden, whether we'll stay soft, but hopefully wise. I was thinking that I might fly to bed just to disprove all the things that So that's where we're 
starting. Yeah. And it's going to go downhill from there. Okay. Yeah. We got you. Organs are weak, so let's stop calling him a pussy. And while I'm at it, you can stop saying faggot. It's time, we really have had it. It takes courage to be alive and be who you are without apologizing. So let's stop calling him. Saying how you hate sexism I got a boy, you don't need to hear that You think all men, especially older white men Are creepy and bad, so let's stop Generalizing And all you hipsters in your cafe Say, why is everybody picking on me? I talk about love and liberty And say, fuck that redneck from Tennessee, where well, that stop hating redness. Cause that's just the trouble, don't you see? That's just the trouble. Hypocrisy, I hate you, and you hate me. It's a circle jerk. <laughs> So stuck on our individuality We forgot our commonality Black men don't eat babies And drag queens don't bite And Muslims just want someone to hold at night We all love our children So let's show them why we must start
was 16 because I really wanted to hitchhike through Mexico for spring break like all parents hope their children do at one point.
Almost makes me blush. <laughs>